Hi everybody. In today's video I am going to show you that I have finished Blazor Gallery and now Blazor Gallery is a NuGet package. So in this video I'm going to show you how to set up Blazor Gallery in five minutes on your computer. Before we start the timer I'm just going to give you a little tour of how Blazor Gallery works. Uh, you can set different folders. You can have up to five folders so if you want to create another one and uh, that's how you create a folder and then you can upload files uh, I've got a little let's see graphics gallery oh there's my vacation photo I don't actually get to go on vacation bing.com created that for me but uh, you can uh, you know let's say you have an image that this wasn't from the party it's on the wrong image. you just click on the image and you go like that and you can get rid of the image so it works really well I think uh, what's really cool is now you don't have to create a weather if I want to do a tutorial I don't have to show you you know hey delete the counter page and the weather forecast and build out, build out the entire project all we have to do is install the NuGet package create an instance of the project using the uh, NuGet uh, CLI or .NET CLI I'm going to use the NuGet package manager console and then you have to set two environment variables one for the connection string to the database, one for, it's called Blazor Gallery Key Code. It's used to cr create password hashes when you create a new user. And then you have to create a SQL Server database named Blazor Gallery and execute uh, two SQL scripts. So we're going to do all this in five minutes if I can. Let me get a drink and get ready, kind of stretch a second, you know. This uh, it's kind of like running a marathon here almost. Okay, so I'm going to close down my project and I'm going to close down Visual Studio. I am going to, I've already got a database named Blazor Gallery, but I'm going to be creating a Blazor Gallery 2. But that's a little bit later in our video. Let me close this. I'll just show you my temp folder is empty. Nothing up my sleeve. No tomfoolery going on. And we're starting our countdown timer now. So in five minutes, we're going to do all this. So I'm going to launch Visual Studio. I'm going to continue without code. I'm going to go Tools, uh, NuGet Package Manager Console. And then now I'm going to switch to my temp folder, change directory, and now I'm going to cheat a little bit, but I've got uh, the command line here. So it's just .NET new install data juggler dot blazer gallery, and uh, I already had 1.0.10 installed. I went to 12 because I made a couple of updates. And now I'm going to cr create the project in my temp folder. That's .NET new and just data juggler dot blazer gallery. And our project was created. Now we're going to create a database. I'm going to create a blazer gallery 2 because I already have one. And now I'm going to open a file that was just installed via NuGet. So if we go to temp, SQL, I'm going to install blazergallery.database, and I'm going to execute that. I put a couple of messages here because I always forget, but it says do not forget to execute insert admin.sql. So we're going to open one more file. And this just sets the admin settings. You can change them to whatever you want. I was just doing this as a test. Okay, and now, uh, as the instructions here uh, say in the readme, but we have to create two environment variables. The first is the connection string. So I'm going to create a connection string. My, my name is Blazor Gallery 2, my database name, but you can just use Blazor Gallery. Build connection string, test and copy. This connection string builder comes with datatier.net and I have the link in the readme for this project and the video description and moving on because we're running out of time but we're doing pretty well actually. Edit the system environment variables. 
Now I already have one, so I'm going to double click on mine, but you need to create a new user level environment variable. If you can see that, it's Blazor Gallery Connection String. And the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change my database name to Blazor Gallery 2. You would paste in your connection string from that you just built and hit OK and hit OK. Well, we need to do one more environment variable, and the other one is called Blazor Gallery Key Code. You can put whatever you want. This is uh, just a temporary partial GUI that I have for my uh, password manager, but uh, I will use a different one for a live website if I ever make this, but I was just showing you if you want to, you can make up your own string here and just call it Blazor Gallery Key Code, and we're done. And now, the only thing left to do, besides uh, leaving a star on this project if it works, but that's got to come later. So we're going to now go to my temp folder, and here is the Blazor project that was created in the temp folder. On my first attempt, the upload folder was not being created, so we're going to make sure the upload folder is here. Okay, it's still not here, so just... In the, uh, and I'll, I'll update the instructions for this, and I've tried three times to get this folder in the package, but just create a folder here in WW root called upload. I don't know why it's not creating, but uh, I've got uh, git ignore, and I think that's messing it up, but that's a whole nother story. We're going to open our project and run it. And if this works, we did all this in five minutes. Now there's one thing that's gonna happen. It's gonna open with HTTPS, and I hate this, so we're gonna stop it. Uh, and we're gonna close this. And we're gonna switch this to IIS Express, but we did it with 30 seconds to spare, so I'm gonna stop the timer. Well, I know you're probably a skeptic, so I'll, I'll let us sign up in 20 seconds if we can. Okay, join. Corby, Corby, Corby at gmail.com, not my real email. Corby was here. Corby was here. Join. Now I got to log in and I'm not going to make it, so I'm closing that. But we did it in five minutes, so now my username. You can uh, log in by either one. Corby was here. Okay, so. We did it in five minutes. Just to show you, uh, when you create a new project, the folders tab is, I mean, the home folder is created for you, and you can't delete the home folder, but other folders up to five are deletable. So I'll just call this dogs and just make sure this uploads. So we'll upload a folder into dogs, and it works. So what do you think? Is this cool that you can create an entire Blazor project in five minutes? Okay, you said yes. Okay, now there's one thing I need help with the community. If you know how to do this while I'm researching it, please reach out and let me know. But what I need to do is, this is really cool, you can create a gallery and you can show yourself pictures of uh, your your photo that you have it's kind of like going to photo mat if you're old enough to remember that where you get a picture in one hour that you just saw an hour ago but it's still uh, the issue is i need to add like public routing so that if you want to have a you know portfolio site that says like say the site is called blazer gallery which uh, and then you want to have blazer gallery slash user name slash uh, folder name and then show the images so that's what I need to learn how to do if you know how to do that I know it's routing and I, I think I'll be able to figure this out because I've made really good progress on this site I built it all in like a week and also let me know uh, this was just an AI image and I made that I don't know I just wanted something there I didn't like the first thing I did but let me know your thoughts of this project do you think it's cool I think it's kind of neat that all you have to do now I've, before I've always hated having to start with that weather uh, template and now I've got a whole process and I made my first video I tried to get people to watch the video of how I made a blazer site 
into a NuGet package, but no one seemed impressed, or my video uh, average length duration is not very high, but I think YouTube shows it to like people that don't speak English <laughs> or people looking for cat videos or something, because I don't know, I think this project is worth the price of free. Let me know. If you don't think it's worth the price of free, how much do I owe you? All right, have a great day. Thanks for watching.